I look, no, no, you can't tell me, oh, I don't care what I'll be. <laughs> So today I'm back with another video. I'm Nayeli for those that do not know me and if this is the first video you're watching of me. Today I'm going to be speaking about the obsession of us feeling accepted by other people. Everyone has been there. You can't tell me, oh, I don't care what other people think of me. You have been there. You have been there. At least when you were younger or something. But, you know, you've been Especially now when, like, social media is so important and looking a certain way and wearing certain things and even the way we present ourselves in social media is so important like you're moist if you do this you're moist if you wear this do you get it we have made likes comment determine our value did you know that on average a person spends three hours on social media three hours on instagram three hours on snapchat a day and it's increasing every day 45 percent of the population is on social media and it's increasing as well every day especially in quarantine like me i spend so much time on my phone like if i go on the on the thing that shows you how long have you been on your phone it says like 10 hours plus it is so bad and i realized what was happening to me when the other day my cousin called me and we were both scrolling through instagram and she was like oh my god lady this this Pen girl, look at her. We looked at her Instagram, and my cousin was telling me like this girl made me delete all my posts because compared to her, I don't look like her. And then I was like, what? Then I was looking at my Instagram post, and then I compared my Instagram post to her post. And don't don't lie to me, you've done it before. If you're a girl, you've done it before. Even if you're a boy, I know for a fact you have compared your Instagram pictures with other people's pictures. So I was like, raw like. I look, no, no. So honestly, at that moment, I was like, nah, I'm, archi I'm archiving all my posts. Because I didn't look as paying as that, as that girl. <laughs> like, my self-esteem went to, from 100 to like, shoo, to zero. And the next day, I was just scrolling through Instagram. And I was like, I want to wear that. I want to get that. And I'm not that type of person. Like, I wear what I like to wear. Do you get it? I don't like to fit in into what everyone is supposed to wear but all of a sudden i started having that mindset i started wanting to to look like them instagram public figures i wanted to buy certain clothes and it was just so dumb and it didn't hit me until i came across this video on youtube it was about this girl this yeah this girl i'll put the this in the description below i'll put you out <gasps> i'll put the link below the phrase that highlighted to me the most was when she said she was a model by the way when she said i had i had it all and i was miserable how many of us want to be rich i want to look like everyone else i want to look like that model that you are obsessed with but we don't know them we don't know their life we don't know if they're happy with their life and most of them are miserable mi miserable <laughs> miserable because likes comments subscribers followers do not make you happy money does not make you happy and it's time for us to realize that it's time for us to to realize that our value does is not determined by the likes and the comments that we get no it's not we have to realize this now than realizing it after doing the most for likes doing the most for comments and still feeling empty inside in in john 15 18 to 19 it says if the world hates you you keep in mind that it hated me first if you belong to the world it would love you as its own as it is you do not belong to the world but i have chosen you out of the world that that is why the world hates you this was jesus telling warning his disciples that they were going to get hated by a lot of people because they were going to hate them for being different for following different things for believing in different things you're going to be hated for not looking like everyone else looks like, for not thinking like everyone else thinks, for not talking like everyone else talks, for simply not being like everyone else, for not dressing like everyone else. 
and it's okay because that is not important not important that doesn't determine your value if jesus got hated i will definitely get hated jesus who was perfect got hated guys of course we would get hated and you know what's the worst thing is that we do things to get accepted but we yeah we do what they tell us to do but we will always get hated even if we do the things that everyone else wants you to do even if you post what everyone else posts you will still get criticized you will still get hated so why not do something that is you something that you like to do not do it to please other people in um in second of corinthians 418 it says so we fix our eyes not on what is seen but what but what is unseen since what is seen is temporary but what is unseen is eternal money is temporary money comes and goes beauty is temporary you get older beauty fades but what's not temporary is your heart and how you treat people and who you are let me give you an example imagine if you're a girl, imagine meeting this boy and he's so lame, like he's so pale. So lame, like he's so pale. But then you start hearing him talk and then he has a dead personality and he, he, his heart, he's ugly in the inside. Like he's just rude and he thinks he's all that and he thinks he's better than everyone else. You can't tell me that you still like that boy. You will not like that boy. That boy will go from being a 10 to being a 5 to being even a 3 or 2. And the same goes if it was a girl. You, you, you don't need a billion likes. You don't need a billion comments. It doesn't matter how many subscribers, followers you have. In Songs of Songs 4-7 it says, You are altogether beautiful. My darling, there is not, there's no flaw in you. You are wonderfully made by God. And when God, God saw his creation, it was all good, as it states in Genesis 1.31. Proverbs 31.30 says, charm is deceptive, 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 I can't speak English, deceptive, and beauty is fleeting. Just because that person is beautiful in the outside, it doesn't mean they're beautiful in the inside. I want to share with you guys um, the thing I did when I caught myself slacking, when I caught myself changing the way i looked and the way i carried myself because of social media what i did and it might it might sound childish to a lot of people and it might sound like what but i started on following people <laughs> I, I started on following those people who would make me feel like i had no value those people that i knew like all those like famous people like ooh, that made me want their life that made me want to be rich because they look like they're living the best life i unfollowed those people i also tried to be less on instagram and because that's instagram social media is all fake and you need to remember that you see what they want you to see of course no one's gonna post like their boring lives on social media everyone wants to look like fun and happy of course you're not gonna see no one showing themselves when they cry like that's kind of mm. so, that's all I wanted to say today. I wanted to remind you that you're beautiful and you don't need to determine your value with the likes and with the comments and with the followers and subscribers. I know a lot of people are not going to like my content because it's not like everyone else's content. I'm not trying to be like everyone else. I'm not doing this to please anyone. I'm not doing this to get accepted by anyone because I know my identity. I know my value. And you do not tell me what's my value. I know my value. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching this video once again. Comment down below what else you want me to do. Like, subscribe, push the bell notification on. Something like that. I keep flopping that. But yeah, thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>